so we're doing a little tour of Mikey's fruits and veg with, with Professor Doctor I don't know what he's some kind of high-level scientist like Google him Farouk Jahur so listen this lime business every time we buy lime in England mm -hmm. they got no seeds mm -hmm. so I don't eat lime anymore so what do you look this wonderful lime tree here I'm trying to get this lime yeah wonderful that one um, Type of yeah, type of some berry. kind of yeah berry. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's edible. Uh, this cherry has the highest vitamin C content. Is it? For, uh, for gram. We had a garden cherry in. And any other fruit in the world. People used to, children used to be in our yard all the time. With we had a very big tree. Yeah, as a matter of fact, if you make a drink. Okay. Wow. Sugar apple. Sugar apple. Um, we call it coastal down here, but it's got a lovely tree there going. This one is a, a kind of a cactus, but we call it tuna or cancanil. So you put it in some water, and a big slime comes out, and you drink that, and it's um, good for uh, every ailment. every ailment going. <laughs> And this is a hogberry tree, one of my favorite trees, and it's rare, but just to catch a hogberry blossom, it's just so nice. So, there we go, that's the tree. East Indian mango uh, this surplus. Is, this, is like Julie. This is Julie, not East Indian, yeah. Uh, this is There's so much of it. I just had one off the tree, I climbed up there. But uh, they're in abundance this year. Yeah, this is a black spice mango, yeah. okay. And here is a Ethiopia apple tree and uh, looking full of apples, not fully in season yet. So let me ask a question, why uh -huh. is it called Ethiopia? I have no idea. It's old Tahiti, it originated in Tahiti. Oh, I see, okay. It's O-O-H, Yeah, so it's too complicated for us, we just say Ethiopia and it's so much easier. <laughs> But it's loaded and uh, here Mikey is doing a little circumposing so you, you tie the soil around scrape off the bark my dad was famous for this and after a few weeks around eight weeks or so you cut it off it's got roots and you got a, a old tree that's how this came about so you can get apple from a new tree in this way this is a favorite Guyanese plant Farouk <laughs> the, the Bilimbi plant. Bilimbi. So we call it Kamranga. Same thing. And star fruit. No, not star fruit. Not star fruit. A relative of the star fruit. Okay. So they make pickles and it's quite sour but it's used in a lot of culinary things. Yeah. So this is a mini June plum. To be honest, I've tried a few, they're not that great. But they're nice, more like an ornamental. The, the real June plum is a ginormous tree. Um, but it's nice to have this, and that's the Kalalu. No, this is the pink stem Kalalu. Pink stem is called okay. And the pink stem, this is uh, amaranth. Mm -hmm. It originated in India. Okay. Amaranth is a Sanskrit word. Okay. And this pink stem, uh, the the West Indian Indians call it uh, Chaurai. Chaurai. Chaurai and it's used to make a bhaji. Okay. Ah, it's kalalu to us. Just kalalu. I know the African people in Africa eat a lot of kalalu as well. So it's quite interesting. We just, but the, our ancestors would have brought this amaranth. Uh -huh. All over the place. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that's why, like in places like Guyana and Trinidad, this is the main ingredient of a uh, uh, Okay, not onion like in in London. Little pepper tree there. That's a Scotch bonnet, isn't it? No, it's not. What is it? It oh. looks more like a habanero. Habanero. Okay, but it's so pretty. And this is the big one. We came over here. I haven't seen this for ages. My favorite lemon grass. That's a lemongrass tree there. The wonderful smell. We get the dried ones, but boy, the green one. A different flavor and of course the roots you use the leaves you make tea the the root 
cutting the stem. Yeah. And you use it for season stews and yeah. yeah. The Sri Lankan people use it in abundance, don't they? And this Thai, Thai cuisine uses it. Okay. I love it. It's a wonderful delicate flavor. And this one is an Indian kale they call it. So you just cook it like spinach kind of thing. Sorry? Malabar spinach. This one with the black seeds there we call it spinach but of course it doesn't look like spinach but it's a climbing thing and uh, Farouk is saying it's Malabar spinach Malabar Malabar spinach yeah. and there's a grapevine there no grapes in sight they probably get some yeah. tiny grapes yeah so when you when you make a sauteed uh, green leafy vegetable mm -hmm. uh, bhaji which is the dish the name of the dish usually the East Indians would mix the Malabar um, spinach mm -hmm. with the uh, chow rai bhaji. Oh, okay. The, that's I... why Mikey has it. Oh, okay. You know, like you, your mom used to do. Probably, yeah. And this is a nice little okra tree, lady fingers, bindi. I think the Indian word for it is bindi. Do you know that word? Yeah, it's bindi. So there's a um, very beautiful tree. Food is medicine, medicine is food. We can hear it from the doctor himself. I don't like to call you doctor because you're way above doctor, but let's just say. Some little nursery, nursery lime. Not, not nursery rhyme, you know, nursery lime. Maybe he's gonna give these away or something. Mm -hmm. It's a huge kalalo in a, in a metal cage, so it must be important. That's why he has it here. Yeah. So this is, you just come and pick fresh every day. Fresh, fresh, fresh. You can see why Mikey has so much energy. Just uh, watch what he eats. Finally, we have a scotch bonnet. Right, and if you, a lot of people don't realize this, but the reason it's called a scotch bonnet is because it's shaped like a bonnet. Okay, aye. See? Look, yeah, look yeah, yeah. When you see that it's shaped like a bonnet. Okay, so that gives away the secret of right. the name. Yeah. And it's hot as hell. And through there, there's some. Um, plum tomatoes kind of thing going behind that fence and there's a little pond there that's where he gets his frog legs from I think a frog pond <laughs> no I don't that's a joke okay and that's a cocoa tree that uh, I think they call it Edo's in some in Europe underneath you get tubers like small yams but the, the tender leaves can also be cooked like a callaloo Thing. The what, sorry? The miracle fruit. The miracle, miracle fruit. Miracle. Miracle fruit. As in M I R A C L. Oh, so that's what the fence is protecting. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I don't know this one, you know, myself. Maybe I do. But we were told not to eat things we don't know, we'll get poisoned. Right. But this one is a miracle berry. Okay, yeah. wow. And we're so lucky. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're so lucky we actually have a berry to show. Cool. That's a yam stick there, a yam growing. Look, it just goes up, all the way up. All the way up, and there we go. It's going to be some yams going on there. There's a, oh, there's a cocoa in full force. That's about maximum size. It can grow a bit bigger, but this one is quite, quite huge. And a pumpkin tree. This is the Caribbean pumpkin. It looks the same like the one in Europe, but it's not the same. It doesn't taste the same. It's a different animal altogether. There's a pumpkin blossom, which you can cook as well. Pumpkin blossom soup is a big, expensive dish. And the plum tomatoes from the other side. The pineapple tree. So there we go. Someone has taken the fruit. So this has already born fruit this is the okra without the leaves so let's have a close-up of one of the okras bindi there we go now this is a tamarind tree a little young tamarind tree and inside the tamarind tree is a bird which made my day this bird is called a picheri I'm sure there's a Latin name for it but for us it's a picheri um, Wonderful bird. A guava. There's a guava. Young guava tree. 
a young pear tree this is a perfect banana tree I wanted to film like this because this is how bananas go this is a tiny banana because they're small and they're super sweet honey banana yeah, that's honey. and um, yeah this is the the blossom thing here I don't know the name of it but this is where the doctor birds come and stick their beaks in and fly backwards and do all sorts of acrobatics to pollinate and stuff and these banana trees grow in once they start growing other baby trees come up they're called suckers you have to literally cut some down and uh, so nice to catch a banana on the tree there we have them as ornamental plants in London but they never produce fruit so here we go and Andrea I ask you on the camera off the camera is this a number 11 tree and you're asking me how I know you can tell them a countryman now, can't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Soon as I saw those stains on it and those black lines that of the stain running down, oh. only number that's a signature of number eleven. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh, that's a nice one. They have a, they are a very distinctive flavour, yeah. and these are a baby coconut red coconut you got the green coconut you got the red coconut you got the dwarf co I'm sure you have probably hundreds of coconuts but these are we just call them red coconuts because they got a reddish yellowy color and the fruit will carry the same color sugar cane this is the reason our ancestors came here to work break their backs in the sugar cane field to make a delicious poison known as sucrose sugar from sugar factory is the foundation of the industry here and a lot of people work there to uh sell this drug to europe that's the same malabar thing. Uh, and that's the malabar spinach in its glory here that's this one's not been um picked and stuff so look how amazing it is apart from the food aspect it's it's a beauty it's like flowers to me <laughs> And this is not food, but it's guinea grass, but the <laughs> animals eat and horses and... Good for your pain. Eh? It's good for pain. The Farouk says it's good for pain. We never tried it like that, but... Yeah. It has a nice smell. You can always get that smell. So that's the end of our little tour of the culinary tour of Mikey's backyard and Andrea's... Andrea's front yard. What, what which one is this? I don't, I'm it's a pool. Like it's is a it? poon. Look. Is it? I think so. I'm gonna call it a poon. I don't know. It's a little pumpkiny thing. Mm. Oh, or it's a melon. One of them. Uh, no, it's not melon. It's the one that you have. It's not yeah. very sweet and tasty. Yeah. But, poon but is you a, have. Poon is a melon. Yeah. It's, a, it it's a, melon. a form of melon, but it's it's not sweet. It, you you got. Very sweet. Yeah. So it's probably better for your health. So yeah, there goes the end of it all.